and, and wise men continually seek him. And the world may not, but I believe I'm among believers today who are following the star. Worship yeah, with the yeah. choir. Yes.
today. We've had a um, kind of a topsy-turvy week, kind of a roller coaster week. As you know, we have been advertising and announcing for some time the singing group purpose was supposed to be with us today, but as you can tell, we're they're not here, but we're here on purpose. Amen. We have a plan, and God has a plan. It's all going to work out. I tell you, these folks up here need to be commended. They need to be commended. Amen. What an outstanding job they're doing, always, always. Amen. The, uh, the group contacted me the first of the week and told me about their lead singer getting sick. Possibility they wouldn't be able to come, but they wouldn't know for sure. He's going to try to find a replacement. Then on Friday, uh, I found out they, they weren't coming. So I had started trying to prepare a, a message to preach today, and the choir says, we hear you so much. Let us try to get something together. Give us a break. They didn't really say that, but they came out yesterday and practiced, and uh, they are singing some of the songs of their former years of the cantatas that they have done, and uh, it's like riding a bicycle for them. They don't forget. They remember uh, how to sing these songs and they are blessing us today I think it's a wonderful replacement amen they thank the Lord that they are able to sing and feel in like this bless us they've got some wrinkles here and there we've got heard sister uh, Broadway this morning sing Rachel she sang Sunday night at her debut and blessed us and I know you were blessed again by her this morning we've got a few others that's going to be singing and uh, play so it's going to be a blessing to all of us today. I want to remind you that we are having a dinner following the service in the fellowship hall. We had, I think, around 100 people that signed up for the dinner, and it's going to be catered in around 1230. We'll have dinner. And what we've done is we have put a video on the screen next door. Since we couldn't have a cantata or a children's program this year, we have a video of one of 2017. It's amazing how Everybody changes over just a few years. So that's playing over there on repeat. 
as you go in. You'll see the children, their preparations and their program, and as well as the cantata for the year 2017. Kind of a little something for your entertainment as you enjoy your meal as well. So keep that in mind. We're delighted to have the Rushings with us today, the talented Miss Lorraine Rushing, doing a great job on the keyboard. Amen. Brother Bobby Jenkins is scheduled for major surgery this week, so he'll be out for several weeks. We're glad that we were able to call on someone of this caliber. Sister Lorraine has blessed us before, and we're delighted to have her with us today, as well as Brother Russia, the great man of God. We appreciate him coming to be with us. We want to pray for God's blessings throughout this month. We only have just a few weeks left. Christmas is coming. In two weeks, Christmas will be over as far as that particular day. And uh, we want to take advantage of every opportunity we can. We are on an abbreviated schedule this time of the year. We have a lot of people that are traveling, that are going to be traveling, people getting together. And we have learned through the years that sometimes it's better just to try to give everybody a break instead of trying to try to have a service when you don't have everybody there to be able to operate. So we only are having Sunday morning services for the remainder of this year, but we'll get back in full swing beginning in January should the Lord tarry. So keep that in mind, if you will, please. We want to go to the Lord in prayer. Would you stand as we pray together? We especially need to pray for the folks that were in harm's way and the tornadoes in Kentucky and other states. They're devastated. It's unimaginable what they're going through this morning and so many other places. There's, there's so many places in the world that are going through nightmarish situations. But thank God the church can pray and make a difference. I know some of the people that are not spiritual, people that are not where they should be with God, they get annoyed when somebody says, you're in our thoughts and prayers because they don't understand the power of prayer. They don't understand that when Peter was in prison, the church prayed without ceasing and God dispatched an angel yeah. setting free from the prison heard their prayer. Amen. They don't know the power of a church praying as in Acts 4.31 when they had prayed the place was shaken where they were assembled together. Something happens when God's people pray. God can open doors and make a way and make people stronger and better and do something in their lives through tragedy, through difficulty, through adversity. God is able to give strength. So pray for these families today. Also pray for the Schuler family. We lost another one of our ministers this week, Brother Mark Schuler. He was the head of the LEAD program. Many of you are aware of the new program that we started in the state. KK is attending those classes there. We had a state council meeting this past Tuesday, and uh, I saw him, talked to him, hugged his neck, and heard his presentation for the LEAD program, the state council voted to buy a new van for the LEAD program, for them to travel around and do some other things there on campus. But Tuesday night, he went home, went to bed, went to sleep, and never woke up. 46 years old. So pray for his family, his three children. Pray that God will give them strength and, and give them peace during this difficult time. It is so stirring. We've lost two ministers this week and one that was retired passed away last week we lost Marcus Lamb as well as brother uh, Todd Phillips brother Todd Phillips had a hand in me being at Matthews he was uh, about 60 years old when he passed away suddenly and uh, but he called me one day and said have you heard that brother Collins is leaving Matthews I said no I haven't heard and I immediately got in touch with the state overseer and asked uh, about the church, about coming here, and he had already promised Matthews to another preacher. And uh, of course, I pleaded and begged and cried and prayed, and, and uh, he said, let me see what I can do. I had no idea that my name was put on the ballot and I got the votes. They called me and said, you got the votes to come to Matthews. Next month will be 22 years later. Thank God, amen for that. So, that's the connection that I had with Todd. And he's going to be with the Lord. A lot of people are leaving this world, aren't they? But you know what? We're not too far behind them. Soon and very soon, we're going to see the King. The Lord is coming. So let's pray for these families. Pray for these that are in need. Pray for all that are sick today. Pray for this service. Father, we thank you for your wonderful blessings upon us. You have been so good. 
so merciful, so loving, and so kind. Lord, we welcome you today to bring peace to the hearts of those that are troubled, minds that are tormented. We ask you to convict the hearts of those who are lost, that they would call upon you to be saved. We ask you to comfort these families, Lord, that are grieving today and brokenhearted. We know that you're the God of all comfort. We ask you to move upon these that have lost everything they have. Lord, to tell, call upon you and realize as long as they have you, that you're able to make a way, to open doors, to bless them beyond anything they ever imagined. We pray your blessings upon every song, every singer, every musician, that the Spirit of God move upon this day and your grace be with us. We'll give you praise and glory and honor for all these things, for it's in the lovely name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen and amen. Praise God. Would you take a moment and welcome one another as comfortably as you may feel to the house of God, to the Matthews Church of God. We're delighted to have you today. for our tithes and offering this morning. Psalm 96, verse 8 says, Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Give glory to God, bring an offering, and come into his presence. This is the core of worship, the backbone of who we are as the people of God. This is what we do. We give glory to God. We give him our offerings and our sacrifices. The Bible literally says we are a living sacrifice, a living offering, and we come into his presence. Bringing an offering has been something we've been doing from the very beginning. It's our natural response, a natural reflex when you know God, when you know him and have tasted of his extreme goodness. Bringing an offering and being an offering is as natural to us as prayer, fellowshipping together, and gathering together. Let's pray together. Thank you so much, Lord, for your kindness to us, Lord. When the kindness and love of God, our Savior, appeared, he saved us, not according to works, works which we have done, but according to his mercy, uh, the washing and regeneration of the word. We praise you, Lord. We thank you for given your life for us. Thank you for Christmas, O oh God. Thank you for family, and thank you, Lord, for church, O oh God, where we can gather and worship you, Lord God, and support and love each other. We praise you. We thank you in Christ's name. Amen.
This song is called Mary Did You Know. in our brokenness, wandering, directionless, in need of a grace we knew nothing about. It's not much of a beginning, but this is where we were. Fast forward to a starry night in Bethlehem. You see, while we were lost in darkness, God was consumed by love, a love which led him to do the unimaginable, a love which would cost him his son. That night, the heart of Christmas began beating with a rhythm that would change the world. Jesus, the Son of God, our Savior, was born. Grace in a manger, love in the flesh. Hope had overcome hopelessness. Mercy had triumphed over brokenness and love had overpowered the darkness. Today, we celebrate that moment. We worship our Messiah, and we stand in awe of the life-changing gift God has given us. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, the true heart 
of Christmas.
Bow to babe on bended knee The savior of humanity Unto us a child is born It's been a little bit since I've done one of these, but Beth asked me, I think Saturday, or not Saturday, like two days ago, um, to ask me or to do a devotion on what Jesus means to me this Christmas. So this year, I believe God has showed up and God has showed out. He's been love, he's been patience, he's been kindness, and God has been almighty, powerful, awesome. Even though this year was arguably worse than the year we had last year, we have everything to be thankful for right in front of us, and it was God that gave it to us. Specifically to me, though, God has been a father, an amazing father. He showed me what true patience is. I've struggled and struggled to stay where, I, or to stay where I've needed to be, and I'll admit it. I've fallen quite a bit, and he always picks me right back up right back up but of course we can't forget what time of the year it is when jesus left eternal paradise to come to the earth as a human for mankind it meant suffering for jesus but when jesus carried that cross up to the top of calvary it meant life for us for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life God is the author of love, and the Bible says that love is patient and love is kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud. So back to what I said at the beginning, God is patient with us, careful with us, kind to us. God loves us and will continue to bless us. God is everything we need to be thankful for this Christmas. Now is not the time to forget the meaning of this season and what Jesus means to you.
son. God is good. <laughs> Many of you may or may not know, but what he's gone through this year, diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, but yet still, praise God. Yeah. People don't understand. How can you be going through something like that and still be praising God? <clears throat> They're nearsighted. We see the bigger picture. God came to us years ago. Yeah, come on, you know, and we've, as Carson said, we fall short, but he's loving, he's patient. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. yeah, I can't tell you how many times I've let him down, but he's never let me down once. Yeah. And I praise God for that. Thank you, Jesus. Some of these songs we've sung today, God, we're singing them out of our heart. And they may not sound like Christmas songs, but if you listen close, you'll hear that message. When Jesus was <clears throat> sent to us, and you've heard Pastor say this before, in years of silence from God, yeah. the world deep, deep in sin, and that's where we are now. Yeah. God sent His Son. He introduced us to His Son to be our King, yeah. but to be our friend. People don't understand the closeness of that relationship. But till you've been in there, yeah. Come on, when he lifts you up, yeah. Yeah. when your marriage is on the rocks and about to go under, yeah. when your child's laying in the hospital room, yeah. Yeah. you lose loved ones. Yeah. Yeah. He's, there. He's there. And there's a peace. A comfort that people don't understand. These aren't tears of pain. These are tears of joy. <laughs> that no matter what, he's there with us. <laughs> he's there when we're going through something we just don't think we can handle. The fourth man in the fire. <laughs> and I want you to worship me with this song. Introduce you to Jesus. He longs to be your Savior and Lord. He'll be your King. He'll be your friend. Whatever you expect, He'll be more. He's the shout that calls the dead to life. He's the bread that multiplies to me your need. He's the midnight calm in the lion's den. And the shepherd who goes searching for the sheep. He's the hand that reaches out to rescue you. When the way Calls the dead to life again. He's 
the bread that multiplies to me your need is the midnight calm in your lion's den and the shepherd who goes searching for the sheep he's the hand that reaches out to rescue you when the way always there beside you when you're walking through fire he's the big cry that calls his walls to fall he's the song that rises from the prison cell he's the love and grace that The story of redemption that you tell. Every time you offer up the desperate prayer, He will be your heart's desire. He's a poor man who's always there beside you when you're walking. Come on, you ought to stand to your feet and praise him. He's the fourth man in the fire. How many of you he's brought you safe this far this year? Come on, praise him. Yes, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, you don't need music to praise him. When you think about where he's brought you from, you just ought to begin to praise him with everything in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, I'm going to interrupt this program right now. I feel the Holy Spirit say, if you got a need, come on, come to this altar right now. Whatever it is that you're facing, you're going through, you need the Lord. Come on, this is about Him today. This is not about a program, but if you've got a special need, I want you to come. Come on up. If you need us to pray for you, if you're going through some stuff and you need God to be that fourth man in the fire, get out of your seat right now and make your way to this altar. We're going to pray. Come on, the Holy Spirit is here. Come on, don't hesitate. Everybody with your heads bowed and eyes closed, we're going to wait a moment. Come on, somebody needs prayer in this house today. Oh God, come on choir, if it's you, get out of your seat right now. Come to this altar if you need God to move on your behalf. Come on, somebody will meet you in this altar. church let's just come and just kneel at his feet today let's come worship get out of your seat right now holy spirit we welcome you here spirit of god
blessed today. Praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. Be seated for just a moment. I don't think the chicken is here yet. I want to hear this choir sing Christmas offering. They did this several years ago and have done it along the way, but it's a beautiful, beautiful song. I think it's our closure today, and I know you'll be blessed by it. Worship with our choir once again. Give them a big hand for the great job they're doing today.
how the magnificent, joyful vow to offer gifts to the King of Kings, and how every heart cries out in joy today, knowing that because of Emmanuel, God is with us, reconciling us forever to our Heavenly Father. So join today as we celebrate the season, the story, above all, the Savior of Christmas. Join us to celebrate joy to the world. appreciate Beth putting all this together, pulling it together, and our musicians and media team working so diligently. I tell you, there's choirs that would practice for months that wouldn't even come close to what they did today. What a great job they did, blessing us, singing. Did, did the choir want to say something to the congregation that I hear y'all yesterday practicing something? What did you want to tell the people? Um. Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> How did they forget that? <laughs> Merry Christmas to everybody. Don't forget, dinner's next door. Uh, we have the video show in 2017 of our Christmas programs, Gatata. Also, there is a backdrop set up in the front of the Fellowship Hall where the big Christmas tree is for you to have your picture taken. We'd love to get copious amounts of pictures. Brother Stan Widener is going to be out there. So if you'd like to go get a picture with your family or just yourself, uh, it's a beautiful backdrop of a fireplace and to be something for us to have as a keepsake. But I hope you'll take advantage of that. Would you stand? We'll be dismissed. I think normally when we go next door, you're just seated at a table, find a table, and each table has a number on it. They'll call up a number for you to, to go forth and uh, get your food. It's uh, kind of cafeteria style. Be sure and let those precious folks next door know how much you appreciate them being out of service, getting everything ready and serving today. They have sacrificed to do that and they are to be commended for giving their time and their energy into preparing dinner for us today. So good to have Brother Rushing with us. Brother Rushing, as you dismiss, would you also bless the food?